Hey, Tom Donnie here. Want to look today at my new rods. I just happened to build a, a crankshaft for one of my Bonneville engines with my new rods to test it on our dynamometer. And I always, I always spin these when I'm done. And so I got noticing that it spins just a little bit better than what I've been using. And the ones here, of course, are the old cages with the 12 rollers and uh, they tend to centrifugally lock at high RPMs. That's one of the problems with them. Plus, they're just a very antiquated design. The new bearings I'm having made, this has a black coating, which is actually a polymer coating. And coatings, that's really what a lot of engines and transmissions are using different today. I've got it on my pistons. You know, that's a, a Xylon coating, a, a Teflon type coating. Um, same thing there on that piston. So, coatings is what really makes a difference in today's motors. And again, you can kind of see if we take and do a, do a comparison here. I mean, I just happened to spin one of these, and I'm like, wow, they really spin. So I got a crank out I rebuild a while back with the old style and started spinning it. Because I know what they normally do, and they go around a couple, three times and stop. You know, and these suckers, if they can keep it from going, I mean, it's just, it's just such a difference in resistance. You know, and that's obviously going to translate into uh, less friction in the motor. Obviously, this is not a scientific test, but it certainly does show how well that polymer coated bearing does. And of course, we've got the little on the top end. We've added a, a little hole in the top for extra lube, and that's the special 18 by 22 by 29 millimeter bearing we're making for the top end. So. Nothing scientific, kind of fun. Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge, Iowa, signing off.